This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm not going to be playing the game. Instead, I am going to be on Discord checking some cool concept submissions. So I'm just going to be like going through them and rating them and stuff. For those of you who don't know, concept submissions are basically like how the creatures get into the game, how new creatures are introduced. People just keep making these cool designs and whatever and then the developers see them and then they go like, ooh, this is cool and then, and then they add it to the game. So, yeah. So, comment down below which one is your favorite and I think we should start from the bottom. For the first one, we have Wumble. Now, I don't know about this creature. This is like, I don't know, a lizard mixed with a cat, which is actually kind of cool, but, hmm. I just feel like it's not super needed in the game because we already have a bunch of creatures like this, a lot of cat creatures. But yeah, next one, we have the Alkti, and I think this is a little bit unique. I like this one. What is this, like a penguin? Yeah, it is a penguin. I'm actually very smart. So yeah, I think this is like a penguin bird creature, and I really like it. It is it is a penguin mixed with an octopus. This is very cool. I approve of this, and I'll give it an 8 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I don't know. I wish it was a tier 3 instead, though. Now, we have the Oriasmo. Oriasmo. That kind of sounds like my YouTube channel. But uh, this kind of looks like a galactic creature. And it looks very cool. I feel like we have a creature like this. I'm not sure which one it was, though. But yeah, it's basically a floating Sarodon. I don't know. Hmm. Tier 4. It is, I actually like it. I, I like it. I like it. If it had some, like, unique abilities, I would definitely approve of this. Yeah, so it's a quick creature. I like quick creatures. I like tier 4s. I approve of this. 8 out of 10. I don't know. There's just not too much to it. Then we have the Lidend. Very elegant creature over here. This is a flying photovore, and it actually it's actually pretty cool. I don't think we have any creature that is that looks like this. But this is like a sun creature, and I actually really like it. I don't think we have, like, sun creatures. It's like a sunflower. Yeah. I approve of the Lidend. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I don't know. It's just, I, don't, I just don't find it too interesting. And then we have the Barathos. And whatever the heck this is, it looks so cool. It's like a dinosaur creature. It looks like a Triceratops. I don't know, like an armored Triceratops. It's like a Triceratops mixed with an Epitherium. Very cool. I, I really like it. This would be like in the royal um, thingy. It's only a tier 3, so it kind of be like the Trichilo. I don't know. If it was a tier 4, I would love this. I would love for this to be in the game. It's like a warrior creature. Uh, 7.5 out of 10. Alright, I, I, I don't even see this creature, but I'm sure I'm going to give this something good because I already like the colors. Oh, this thing doesn't even have a face. What is this? Hey, how do I zoom in? Alright, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, it doesn't have a face. Well, I really like these flying worm creatures, so I'm gonna give this a 6.5. Not a huge fan, honestly. But then we have the Kura. The Kura. What is this, like a menace? It's a fire menace, basically. Yeah, tier 3, it's, it's, a, it's a hyena. Oh, this is nice, it's a fire hyena, not a menace. Apparently this is based on heavy metal and rock aesthetics. Eh... It's it's a unique addition to the game, but I'm I'm not really a fan of that stuff. I don't like the vibe too much, but it's unique, so seven out of ten. Now oh, this I don't know what this is. It's called a calip tree. All right, it's tier four carnivore flyer. What is this? Oh, it looks. Eh. Again, the face looks weird, but the creature looks insane. I love this creature. If only they made I don't know they made the claws look a little bit um, less weird. And, um, hmm, the face, I don't know, something about the face. Well, it's cool, it's a, it's a night terror, and it actually looks very, very cool. This creature would be like, a, I don't know, flying oxitalis? Glass cannon, so it would like have low health, but deal a lot of damage with its huge claws. I like it, 8 out of 10. Then we have the Gombialo. Um, ooh, this is what, an aquatic creature? It's a sky aquatic, okay, it actually looks so cool, over here. What, I actually love this creature. Very nice. Um, and it looks like a Kohiki mixed with an Exothen, and I really like it. So, 8 out of 10. I don't want to give anything too high of a score right now, because we're going to find some amazing creatures. And we have the Rhea Dursa. This one has a really high rating with those reactions. I don't know why I can't react. This is a tier 4 herbivore. Alright. Uh, kind of makes sense. But this is this looks pretty cool. It is like a really long dragon. And... Uh, yeah, it's basically a flower bloom creature, I guess, and I really like it, so 8 out of 10. It's like a, an upgraded Sokurin, kind of. It's just a better Sokurin. And then we have the <laughs> the Akuksturux Mox. Very, very nice name. Very nice name you came up with here, Kazara Knight. 
Right, so the Akok Storkus Mox is an aquatic creature, I believe. It's an aquatic herbivore. And uh, I think it's just a big tanky creature, whale-like. I like it, but we already have the Eatron Warden. This is not too different. It's just like a little, I don't know. But I can I approve. 7.5 out of 10. And then we have another creature that Kaiser Knight made, and it's called the Gara Locus. This is a tier 5 aquatic, and it actually looks so cool. Right now, the only aquatic Apex Predators we have in the game are Magnesitas and Eatron Warden. And, like, one more would actually be so sick. I think... I, I love this creature. This is a 9 out of 10. It looks so cool as well. Then we have the Veritara Millen. Okay, so we've had a lot of carnivore plants. And as cool and creepy this thing is... I just... We've had the Skulder Rouge, we've had the Frunalixi, and we've had so many grass or, like, plant creatures. I'm, I'm just... I've had enough of them, alright? Please don't add another plant creature. So, yeah. This creature is very cool, but I don't think we need it. So, 6 out of 10. Now... I don't know what this is. Okay, Gyothorok, tier 5, Tectonic Terra Guardian. This is a carnivore or photo carnivore. And this thing looks huge. This would actually be so sick. If they added this, this would be the true Godzilla of Creatures of Sonaria. Not even Korthos anymore. Korthos would just be the skinny version of this. But this thing is a beast. I don't know if I want them to add it or if it would be too much abuse, you know, if it, if it would be, like, too crazy. Because Gorthos is already crazy, nothing can beat it, and I don't know. But if they add, like, a little twist to this creature and add it to the game, oh my god, that would be crazy. I love it, I love it. 9 out of 10. 9.5, actually, because I don't know if I'll find a better one. <clears throat> Soul Trekken, a tier 3 omnivore, electric creature. Um, we already have in tier 3 the Karuku, Electric, and Vomora, which are electric. So if this was like a tier 4, that would be cool, because we don't have any tier 4 electric creatures, I think. Except Zolbatross, if that's in tier 4. Oh yeah, this is a flying robot creature, and I don't think we have a lot of robot creatures. It's just a Jetty Bean, and like, I don't know, probably one other thing. But this is cool, I prove 8 out of 10, because it's, just because it's an electric robot, I, I like that. Then we have the Atphysium, tier 3 Omnivore. Flying creature, and, uh, I, I don't know. We have the Urzik, Ares, and a bunch of stuff that kind of looks like this. It's, eh, the color is interesting, but design is just, I feel like we have too many creatures that already look like this. I don't know. 6.5 out of 10. And then we have the Aura Tomb. This is a tier 3 to 4. What is this, a snake? Oh, look at this. This is like a golden Aura but with only back legs. How does it walk? How does this thing walk? Yeah, I have no idea how this thing walks. But either way, I love these long snake creatures. And it's a flyer, I think. It would be really fun to use, just like a new Ura, you know? Everyone's gonna be so excited for this creature if it ever gets added. It's gonna be like the new Ura. But yeah, it's like a... It can act like a Chinese dragon, I guess. I like it. 8.5 out of 10. And then we have the Cantapodi redesign. Um... I don't know about redesigns. I'm not really interested in redesigns unless the old creature looks really bad or the redesign looks really good. So here it is. It's it's a little bit basic. I don't think we need this right now. It's definitely new. It looks newer than the old one and everything, but it just doesn't... I feel like we don't really need this. You know, like when it gets added, no one's really going to care after like a couple hours. Then we have the Selenus. A Somnora remake. I don't know what Somnora is. Probably a creature they made before. But the Selenus is a... Uh, I have no idea. It's like a sheep. It's a sheep creature. It's a sheep moon creature. I like it. Not sure what there is to it. But uh, we have something like the Novus Warden. That could be like a different type of Novus Warden. 7 out of 10. The Rad K. Hey, what is this? Alright guys, hear me out. I know this design is very basic. But I am actually in love with this thing. I love the like the manta ray or Euloium style creatures. This is like a, a Euloium. Wait, why can't I say it? You guys know that death manta ray, the Euloium, Euloium. <laughs> All right. Well, basically, this is like a mutated Euloium, and it looks so sick. It it's, it could be like its big brother. I need this creature right now in the game. Please add this. Please add this thing. I love it. Nine point five out of ten. I don't know. Ten out of ten. Hmm. Okay, 9.5 just because it's not too unique of a design, but it's just so amazing. 
So if you guys enjoyed, subscribe because I might, uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to do a part two of this, and a part three, and a part four until we see all the potential creatures that could have been added to creatures of Scenario. So if you guys enjoyed, sub, yeah, you guys get the point.